Ever wondered why breastfeeding, a natural process, sometimes feels so challenging? It's a question that many new mothers often grapple with. Breastfeeding, while an incredibly rewarding experience, can also present a set of unique challenges that can feel overwhelming, especially for first-time mothers. Common problems like sore nipples, engorgement, issues with latching, and more can turn this natural process into a daunting task. These challenges, while common, are often not talked about enough, leading many new mothers to feel isolated in their struggles. But remember, it's completely okay to encounter these problems. You are not alone in this journey, and most importantly, there are solutions. Each challenge has a set of remedies and strategies that can help make the breastfeeding experience smoother and more comfortable for both you and your baby. So, let's dive into it. Stay tuned as we unravel the common breastfeeding problems and their solutions. First up on our list is sore nipples, a common issue among breastfeeding mothers. Now, you might wonder why this happens. Well, the main culprit is often incorrect latching. When your baby doesn't latch properly, it can cause discomfort and sometimes even pain, leading to sore nipples. Imagine trying to sip a thick milkshake through a narrow straw. That's how your baby might feel when they're not latched correctly. They end up sucking more on the nipple instead of the areola, causing friction and thus soreness. Other factors can also contribute to this issue, such as changes in your breast milk supply or the frequency of feedings. Even wearing tight clothing or bras can cause friction and result in sore nipples. This can make breastfeeding a less than pleasant experience. The pain can be so intense that some mothers dread the thought of the next feeding session. And it's not just the physical pain, the emotional toll it can take on a new mother can be equally challenging. But here's the good news. This issue is not a life sentence. It's a temporary phase that most mothers go through at some point during their breastfeeding journey. With the right knowledge and assistance, it can be managed effectively. But don't worry, sore nipples can be managed and we'll discuss this next. So how can we tackle sore nipples? Firstly, let's talk about correct latching techniques. This is crucial. When your baby is properly latched on, it can reduce the friction that often leads to soreness. Picture this, the baby's mouth should cover more of the area beneath the nipple rather than the area above. This helps ensure that the baby is sucking more on the breast tissue and less on the nipple itself. Now let's move to nipple creams. These can be a lifesaver. After each feed, applying a bit of nipple cream can help soothe and heal the skin. Look for creams that are safe for both you and your baby, preferably those that are lanolin-based. Using a breast pump is another great solution. If your nipples are too sore for breastfeeding, a pump can offer a respite. It also helps maintain your milk supply. But remember, use it gently. Next up, taking breaks between feeds. Yes, it's important to feed your baby regularly, but it's also crucial to give your nipples time to heal. If possible, try to take a short break between feeds. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek professional help if the pain persists. Lactation consultants or healthcare professionals can provide valuable advice and assistance. With these solutions, sore nipples should become a thing of the past. The next problem we're going to discuss is engorgement. Engorgement is a common issue many breastfeeding mothers encounter. It's when your breasts become overly full of milk. They may feel hard, tight, and uncomfortably swollen, even painful at times. Remember the feeling of being overstuffed after a huge holiday meal? Now imagine that feeling in your breasts. Yeah, it's not exactly a walk in the park. But why does engorgement happen? Well, it typically occurs when the supply of breast milk exceeds demand. In the early days of breastfeeding, your body is still figuring out how much milk to produce based on your baby's needs. If your baby doesn't empty your breast completely during feeds, or if you're not feeding or pumping often enough, you might end up with more milk than your little one can consume. Engorgement can cause a bit of a breastfeeding roadblock. When your breasts are engorged, the milk doesn't flow as freely, making it harder for your baby to latch on and feed. This can be frustrating for both you and your baby. Moreover, if not addressed, engorgement can lead to more serious issues, such as blocked milk ducts or mastitis, which is an infection of the breast tissue. Sounds tough, right? But don't worry, we have solutions for this too. These solutions will be discussed in the next part of our video. So stick around and let's figure this out together. So how can we deal with engorgement? Let's dive right in. One of the most effective ways to manage engorgement is frequent feeding. 
By doing so, you are ensuring that milk doesn't accumulate in your breasts, thereby reducing the risk of engorgement. Understandably, this might be tough at times, especially if the baby is sleeping, but it's a small price to pay for comfort. Now, if frequent feeding isn't possible, or if it's not helping, you can turn to a breast pump. Using one can help express the milk and relieve the tension. But remember, while it can be a lifesaver, it's important to use it correctly and not overdo it. On to the next solution. Warm compresses. Applying a warm compress before feeding can help to loosen the milk and make it flow more easily. This can be as simple as a warm washcloth or a specially designed breastfeeding heat pad. And after feeding, a cold compress can be your best friend. The cold helps to reduce the swelling and soothe the discomfort you can use a chilled gel pack, a bag of frozen peas, or even a bottle of cold water. Now these are just a few of the many ways to manage engorgement. It's all about finding what works best for you. Remember, everybody is different, and there's no one-size-fits-all solution. With these tips, engorgement should no longer be a problem. So go ahead, breathe a sigh of relief, and enjoy this beautiful journey with your little one. Let's summarize what we've learned today. We've delved into two common breastfeeding issues many face, sore nipples and engorgement, and we've discussed practical solutions to combat these challenges. Sore nipples, a common complaint among many, can turn the beautiful experience of breastfeeding into a painful ordeal. But remember, this doesn't have to be the norm. It's important to ensure that your baby is latching correctly. If there's pain, it's a signal that something's not quite right. Try different feeding positions and make sure your baby takes a large mouthful of the breast, not just the nipple. You can also use a soothing nipple cream or a cool compress for relief. Engorgement, on the other hand, is that uncomfortable fullness you feel when your breasts produce more milk than your baby consumes. This can be relieved by frequent feeding or expressing milk between feeds, applying warm compresses before feeding, and cool ones post-feeding. Gentle breast massages can also help to reduce the pressure and discomfort. But here's the key takeaway patience patience with yourself patience with your body and patience with your baby it's a learning process for both of you it's okay if you don't get it right immediately remember it's not a race it's a journey and never hesitate to seek help reach out to lactation consultants healthcare providers or support groups there's a wealth of knowledge and support out there waiting to help you navigate through this journey remember every breastfeeding journey is unique but the challenges are common with the right knowledge and support, you can overcome them. Happy breastfeeding. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and hope the information provided has been useful in your breastfeeding journey. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other mothers or soon-to-be mothers who may benefit from this information. To stay updated with more such informative content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. This way, you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. And remember, if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in our future videos, please leave a comment below. We value your feedback and are here to support you in this beautiful journey. Stay tuned for more and happy breastfeeding.